Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for listening to Leroy's Library, Bangkok Lyrical Lunacy's weekly podcast where we will cover our community, culture, events, news, and any relevant information regarding life here on Earth and in Bangkok. My name is Leroy Janconius III, and I'm here to serve you a soul-filling feast featuring poetry, music, and the rest of the collective creative output from members of our community. On this episode, the inaugural episode of Leroy's Library, uh, what we want to do is introduce Bangkok Lyrical Lunacy for those who have, might not have heard what we are and what we do. Uh, for four years now, Bangkok Lyric Lunacy has been uh, producing open mic shows, theater productions, poetry and musical showcases, all as part of our mission to create culture and community. If you've never been to any of our shows or our events, I encourage you to go now to Facebook and Instagram and tune into our updates, Bangkok L-Y-L-U, Bangkok Lyrical Lunacy. So why do we need a podcast? Um, well, you know, over the last four years, we've been blessed. We've been so, so blessed to have witnessed so many powerful performances and talented artists who have become part of our community. It's the nature of this city that people come and people go. So now we have a community that spans around the planet. Uh, so, well, we want to use a podcast primarily as a means of listening back to some of the great moments from our show, but more so as a hope of using it to connect and tie our community together now that we're so geographically spread out. Uh, you know, over the last four years, we've had people from all over the world join us, and they're still all over the world. So... Uh, what we want to do is give everyone a chance to just feel connected after you've moved on from this magical city of angels. So we'll get right into it. Um, you know, we're going to give you poetry. We're going to give you music. So the first poem that I have for you is by a poet called Andy Sejourn. He was here in Bangkok for a few months. He's from New York City. And this poem is untitled. Yeah. Fucking nervous. Shit. <laughs> uh, this first one, like I was just sick of where I was living and like, I usually just start writing out of nowhere. So I don't even have a title for this one. This is untitled, but uh, it's one of my favorite poems. Here we go. When I stand here, what do you see? I don't know if you see greatness. I don't think you see an internal sunshine that has a radiation so high that it could speed up photosynthesis. But you see, they wanted us to believe that we were nothing. We are the original brothers. My ancestors dig this dirt to love, not to hate and conquer. My ancestors dig this dirt not to love, but to love, but not to hate and conquer. We are mama's church songs on Sunday mornings. Pancakes and porridge served three hands before noon. From washing dirt rags infested by America's crevices. When did we allow them to turn us into an allegiance of doom? See, they can't teach us to love the way they used to. Because we live in the jungle. So I wasn't raised to love. I was raised to survive. That was New York City's own Andy Sejourn. Yes, all right. So we're going to keep it moving. The next poem comes from a friend of mine named Emerson Steinberg. And he is uh, here in Bangkok and he's a videographer, man, a director of movies and music videos. None like you've seen. Let's see what he has to say. 
stuck in limbo, some kind of Dada expression of half-manic moods and demonic possession, vampires promising ecstasy with bloodless dedication, while sirens sing tonelessly of timeless temptation. My feet stumble blindly through my neon-soaked dream, heart pumping blood never again quite clean. Wolves circle eagerly, they think my time is near, but I carry on in the absence of fear. I question my place at a quarter past three, neither predator nor prey, but still not quite free. Thank you. Stuck in limbo. Lord knows we have all felt that way. Thank you, Emerson Steinberg, for this great poem. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to tune in to Singapore's own Michelle de Cruz with another one of her word pictures like of 4K resolution, man. You don't even know. Here she goes. If you catch the day at waking, time stretches right across the bed. Head held right beneath the surface as five minutes spreads into hours. Straddled between two walls, the last faint touches of the night ebb slowly from the room. I lie still, wishing for a longer silence, but the calm is always ruptured by the ticking of the clock. Hands rush over the sheets, sending shock waves. The surface fractures with each movement till tempered time returns to the 60 sectored line. I begin traced from a copy formed in the outline. Stretch of skin and bone that must be colored in. Little spots swim across my eyes, clouding my line of sight like watermarks on old film. My head has not started giving direction, but these limbs find sinewy muscle and contract in rigid bends. I can taste sour breath, feel a mouth of white film. Life begins to show itself in aches and knots and thirst. My feet touch the cold floor and I follow a choreographed routine. My hand is on the brush, eight strokes in each segment. I stand staring into the mirror, unaware that I have lived this moment approximately 9,856 times, each one a segment I taped over as I fumble with the settings, trying to capture the day just right. A day I cannot quite reach, where I wake up rested and alive, a day where I give thanks for sunshine. I stretch my body limber as the coffee bursts into the room, a day when the clock runs right on schedule. But I wake into inertia, reluctant to even move. So these hands, they do the work for me. They choose between cereal and toast. My feet, they lead the way. Fingers grasp the doorknob. I have a post-it with my lines. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I step out into the world one foot before the other, I pick up the pace to fall in line. It's carpe diem, baby. But it feels more like rewind. That was Michelle de Cruz all the way from Singapore. So if you've never been to one of our open mic shows, this week is a good time to join the party. On Thursday, August 24th, we will be at Live Lounge on Sukhumvit Soy 13 doing our thing from 8 p.m. sharp. It's open to any and all performers. The first five open mic slots to be filled will be granted free cover charge. That's the first five performers to sign up. Otherwise, entry cost is 300 baht at the door. Raka samroi baht kap kriti pratu kapom. So... I hope you've been enjoying Leroy's library so far and have gotten a pretty good idea of uh, what future episodes will have in them moving forward. So here is another poem called The Art of I Don't Give a Fuck. 
I'm going to try and say this smartly. See, I'm hardly a preacher, but part of me's got some wisdom I need parting with. So parting if I'm partly pissed while I'm parting this piece of reason to get to the stop freezing or semen like it's Parkinson's. It all starts with confidence. So how to get it? How to shed the nerves and stop sweating? Stop letting thoughts get in block when the spotlight is hot and you're on it. How to get up, sing that sonnet when a bonnet of self-doubt's just clouting your tenacity. Stop. You have to breathe. See, half of these cats you see cackling were cracking like three seconds flat if they had to get up here and sing. So I had to get up here and bring a bit of perspective injected into this lecture. See, to many, this lectern is a specter, a phantom they can't fathom battling. But inspect a bit further, you'll see there's no fear to be had. And you're on your way to not giving a fuck. Like a five-year-old told by some young buck that Barney is for babies. And he says, yeah, maybe, but it's all gravy because that's my shit, son. And can't nobody tell me nothing. So stop fronting and start loving every single part of yourself that makes you into something and just wear it out like your favorite outfit. See, we came to see your mouth spit your truth like you's a yodeler in the Alps, but you're holding out like Alfred. Answering the phone while he's alone and Bruce is out. Been scared of all them jokers and you hope we figure out what your story's all about, but you've yet to let it out, kid. So go ahead and blurt it out. Once upon a time, yo, don't think you need to rhyme and know it just might be your first time. Think of when it was your first time. It was you. It was her. You didn't know what to do first. And all of a sudden, you don't burst. Felt like jumping in a hearse. But that split second, you felt heaven and were ready to return see that's that shit you're missing when forever's within reach and you're just sitting in the bleachers while your story's getting bleached out it's your birthright we're a storytelling species but you bred the dread the thing that separates us from the sheep dick and you wonder why you're feeling weak and still you're sitting in your seat get up on your feet middle finger insecurity say i don't give a fuck here's my story fuck you this is me Gentlemen, that is all for this first inaugural episode of Leroy's Library, Bangkok Lyrical Lunacy's weekly podcast where we cover our community, culture, news, events, and any relevant information pertaining to life here on Earth and in Bangkok. I am Leroy Janconius III, your host like to thank you for listening tune in next week and we'll have a little bit more and if you really want to see it in real life join us on thursday night at live lounge on sukhumvit soy 13 see you there